The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who's going to make it into Smash 6, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a, from a third party developer taking the spot, as well as a few other reasons. Welcome to a new foe as a peer, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8 House. As always, let's get into it. Up next. <laughs> they did it. We're still here. Yeah, but the zero point is exposed. You have to go in. Oh, come on. Last thing we need is another snapshot of me inside the loop. No, the last thing we need is someone escaping the loop. You need to get in there and fix it. Understood, ma'am. I'm on it. And do not draw the attention of the seven Jones. Three there. I just need to stabilize the zero point and reseal the bridge, but not let anyone escape. <laughs> Easy, right? Okay. Locate the best hunters across all the eyes. Signatures triangulated and defined. Execute. Nice better work. That's right, Jonesy from Fortnite is who we are going to talk about today. I know I'm going to have a lot of people coming after me for doing this character, but personally, but before you do, I didn't originally intend on doing this character to begin with. Like, Jonesy was not on my table until I did get a comment on him and you folk has appeared Ryu Hayabusa suggesting that Jonesy would be a future new foe has appeared episode like I've done slime I've done Shantae I've done rabbit peach and I have done imposter Bomberman I am yet to do but Jonesy is who we are going to talk about today. And it kind of makes sense to talk about him now only because Fortnite Chapter 4 has only recently released. And without further ado, let's get into his moveset, shall we? For Jonesy's moveset, this was really difficult to come up with. But I decided at the end to have Jonesy's moveset based on no build mode that was introduced in Chapter 3, Season 2. Only because I, th I thought the building element was unique to Steve that I didn't want to borrow the, the building element from Steve. So I thought... I would instead have his moveset based off no build mode. So his assault rifle is his neutral special is where Jonesy pulls out his golden assault rifle from his inventory and fires two bullets per second. And Jonesy can hold for up to 15 seconds, but after the 15 seconds are over, he has to reload his assault rifle, which does affect his walking or running speed and will leave Jonesy open to be attacked by other opponents. And you can't walk and fire your assault rifle at the same time. The side special being rocket launcher. 
Jonesy gets out of his rocket launcher and when you hold B with the left stick either in the left or right direction you will be locked into place and you keep a hold of B in order to aim the rocket to an opponent you want to fire the rocket to and once you let go of B the rocket will be sent off and going towards the opponent and the move doesn't act like the guided missile in any way so be careful on how this move is used and the rockets deal between 30 to 40 percent damage when used but this does depend on the range of the players as well because if you're a bit further away from the rocket the damage will depend as well and can only be used up to three times per stock similar to Banjo and Kazooie's Golden Feather move aka the Wonder Wing and the up special being Grappler or Shockwave Grenade which this will actually depend on where you are on what state you are in within the battle as well because the behavior of Jonesy's up special will depend on what state Jonesy is in during the battle if Jonesy is in the air or below a ledge he can use the grappler this move will cling onto any wall or ceiling that isn't lava be careful when using this move because Jonesy can only use it twice before making contact with the ground and once Jonesy touches the ground again his grappler recharges and if Jonesy is on the ground he can use his shockwave grenade to gain some height and the shockwave grenade can cause knockback on other opponents if you have used them to correctly and if you have the time to evacuate the shockwave grenade before it sets off and this shockwave grenade move won't cause any damage to opponents and for the down special being the remote explosive with this move Jonesy can place up to four remote explosives on the field once all have been placed pressing down B again will cause them all to explode and this move will cause 10% damage per explosion and finally for the final smash being the Storm King Jonesy will call a battle bus that will ram into opponents if any opponents are caught they get dragged into the storm and deal 2% damage per second being accurate to the storm within Fortnite and once the battle boss drops them off the storm king from Fortnite save the world appears the storm king attacks the opponents with melee and lightning attacks which deal a very effective knockback and damage and if you are over 300% damage you are done for and once the storm king has done his last roar jonesy returns to the fight for the alts and the kirby hat this was really difficult to choose the alts so i just thought of some fan favorite fortnite skins that i could use as the alts so for alt one we just have default jonesy alt two being ramirez from save the world alt three we have mancake alt four we have peely 
because I know how much the Fortnite community loves Peely, so I thought I'd use Peely as one of the alts. Alt 5 being Meow Souls, Alt 6 being Ripley, not to be mistaken from um, Alien, but a Ripley alt may be a bit hard to like animate and stuff because of like the transparency within the skin and stuff. Oh, alt 7, I went with Dark Jonesy. Having some form of dark alt within your alt palette. Kind of like a few other characters. And I thought for the final alt, I would go with a villain character from the Fortnite lore. And it turns out my favorite Fortnite villain is actually Midas. Not the Herald. Not the Cube Queen, not Geno, but Midas. Like, I think Midas is such a cool skin that I thought, why not have Midas as one of the alts? And although I don't own the skin myself, due to the fact I didn't get the battle pass that season, I do think Midas is a cool skin. And, and for the Kirby hat, Kirby will get Jonesy's hair and jacket with the copy ability of Assault Rifle. And the classic mode route, we have Battle Royale. Couldn't come up with a better name for him, but Jonesy will be based on characters who have guns as signature weapons in their origin games. Round 1 would end up being Inkling, round two being Mega Man, round three being Fox, round four being Zero Suit Samus, round five being Snake, round six being Me Gunner Squad, and Jonesy Squad, but the Jonesy Squad will have different alts, not all the same alts. And the final round being Midas, when Midas is defeated, you go to Master Hand and Crazy Hand. The victory theme poses and the punch out title. The victory theme for Jonesy would end up being a remix of the default dance music. Victory pose one is where Jonesy opens a chest and grabs a rocket launcher out of it. And he stands and turns to the camera pointing his rocket launcher breaking the fourth wall in the process victory pose 2 is where Jonesy sprints towards a loot llama and breaks it with his pickaxe to get the victory crown and for victory pose 3 Jonesy gets out a foldable chair like he he does in the campfire emote before the end of chapter 3 and the default the defeat pose is where the character is clapping animation after losing a round on the result screen and the punch out title being the zero point soldier for the amiibo it may come to disappoint with this one because there's not that many major compatibility features with this amiibo but Jonesy smash render would have him in a mid-air pose similar to pirate and mithra as well as joker with him holding an assault rifle in hand the amiibo however will have a support beam underneath his feet and the compatible games would end up being just Super Smash Bros where you tap Jonesy in to summon a fighter you can train. I, d I do apologize for you know only putting one game compatible in here only because I don't really see Fortnite being compatible with Amiibo only because the game is on multiple platforms and 
the Switch version of Fortnite does actually run horribly. And it is getting worse as time goes on. But this amiibo would be compatible with other games as well, but with minor compatibility, not major compatibility. For the stage, we have Tilted Towers. Yeah, Tilted Towers was a hamlet-sized city made up of many buildings, being a, a clock tower, some apartments, an insurance office, some shops, and a, mi a mini soccer pitch, which did formerly act as a basketball court within Chapter 1, and a fishing pier. In Smash Bros, the stage would be similar to Onet, aka the Earthbound stage, and the Minecraft World stage, where you fight in Tilted Towers itself, not on the platform. And the stage will cycle between Tilted Towers, Neo Tilted, and Tilted Town, meaning that one of the three variants will occur at random within the battle meaning that all of them don't appear in one battle similar to minecraft world with the biomes but you will fight in one of the three variants when you pick this stage and tilted towers and smash is based off of the chapter one version not the chapter three version and the neo tilted variant on the other hand does have a slipstream but unlike fortnite the slipstream can only go in one particular direction once the slipstream is switched on the players caught in the slipstream will have a hard time similar to that one donkey kong stage where you can get caught in the river which does make the slipstream a stage hazard within the Neo Tilted variant. For the support fighters, if you don't know what support fighters are, I'm not going to explain it here, because I already did explain it in a new foe has appeared, God of War. But, but for you guys who've, who've already seen it, you will already know what I'm talking about. So, the support fighters I picked for Jonesy, I know this was a difficult one to go through, only because if I was doing Jonesy as like one of my first back in 2019, this would have been really difficult to come up with. So the three I picked were Loot Llama, Clombo, and the Herald. The Loot Llama isn't really designed for damage, as Loot Llama does dispense items all over the place whilst running all over the stage. Since there is already items in Smash Bros that do that, Loot Llama does behave differently to those items. Even though opponents can deal damage to Loot Llama, which does cause it to make to run faster. And once the Loot Llama explodes, more items will be dispensed. And this support fighter does act like the modern Loot Llama, not the OG Llama. Since the modern Loot Llama does run around when it's spotted by a player, but the OG Loot Llama from the original seasons just stays still. The second support fighter I went with is Clombo. I know Clombo is a fan favorite to Fortnite players, so I did put Clombo in here as a support fighter. And this support fighter may appear friendly at first, but if damage is dealt to Clombo, Clombo will start to become angry at opponents and start to attack them. Just like it does in the games. But Clombo. You're probably wondering how Clombo is going to fit in here. Because of his size in the games. Clombo would just end up being around the similar size as um, Rathalos in Smash Ultimate. 
Groudon in Smash Bros. Brawl and Kyoga in Smash Ultimate. That's probably going to be the scale for Clombo. The player who summoned Clombo will not get attacked at all. And if there is food related items on the stage, Clombo will inhale them, similar to how he does consume clomberries by inhaling them. And the third a support fire I went with is the Herald. I didn't pick Midas as a support fighter only because I already did use Midas as an alt. So it just doesn't feel right to have Midas as a support fighter. So I thought I went ahead and picked another villain from the Fortnite lore being the Herald. The Herald can perform attacks like Jonesy, but unlike Jonesy, the Herald can turn into chromified blobs and move around the stage in ways that Jonesy cannot. The Herald can also summon tornadoes, similarly to how the one bat related item in Ultimate can summon tornadoes. But the Herald's tornadoes can coat opponents in chrome temporarily, similar to Inkling's ink move and the metal block. But when opponents are chromified, they can't turn into blobs like the Herald can. So the whole coating opponents in the chrome idea is just to do and to be similar to the inkling move and the metal block, which means it doesn't behave differently to them too. For the music, the music I picked out for Jonesy is based on the music tracks you can obtain through the battle pass or the item shop. No crossover music such as Marvel or DC will even be featured in here. Copyrighted music will not be featured either, just music that originated from Fortnite. So the list of tracks we have are 8-bit beat, after zero, after burner, Ahoy, Birthday Beats, Banger, Battle Breakers, Best Bods, Billy Listen, Bo Boss Battle, Breathing Underwater, Bunny Bounce, and Butter Barn Hoedown. For the spirits, I did split the spirits up into two categories, this time around being the fighter spirits and the spirit board only because Jonesy will have a Bowser Jr. style situation with the spirits only because each and one of his alts will be spirits okay so for the fighter spirits we have Jonesy Ramirez Mancake Peely Meowsles Ripley Dark Jonesy and Midas for the spirit board, we have Tomato Head, Beef Boss, Ray Barbalock and Kevin from Save the World, Bunker Jonesy, Husk, who's also from Save the World, Kevin the Cube, the Storm King, I think originally was from Save the World, but I think may have been a boss in a Fortnite Mares event from the past few years and the battle boss and for the reveal trailer the reveal trailer starts off with a smash battle between ryu doom slayer who re who has been brought up in a new foe has appeared 26 but and you're probably wondering why did i bring up doom slayer in here it's probably because Chapter 4 has only recently started and Doom Slayer is a new skin in it, so I thought I'd add Doom Slayer to the mix for some reason. 
Chun Li from a new foe has appeared 33. Kratos from a new foe has appeared 41. Lara Croft from a new foe has appeared 45. Master Chief from a new foe has appeared 50. And Ezio Auditori from a new foe has appeared 51. As well as Aloy, who I've not talked about in a new foe has appeared yet, but I'm yet to. And I know only one of these characters is in Smash already, but this is an alternate timeline if they were already in Smash. A zero point portal then appears on the stage the fighters are fighting on and pulls them all in to the zero point similar to the fracture event at the end of chapter 3 where the zero point had been pulling in parts of the chapter 4 island towards it but instead of forming a new island it transports the fighters to the chapter 1 island and they all look around to see a quiet atmosphere and the zero point pulses a mysterious figure comes out of the zero point holding an assault rifle meaning that this is a reference to agent jones and not jonesy and the other fighters have no clue what's going on and the mysterious figure investigates the zero point as the fighters go to attack him the figure pulls out a shockwave grenade and launches the fighters far away and then fires the rocket launcher to finish them all off the figure is then revealed to be jonesy fixes the rift it then shows gameplay of jonesy fighting the gaming legend skins as i just brought up so the gaming legend skins that i have brought up in a new foe has appeared before are featured in the gameplay and the gameplay ends with jonesy holding a victory crown as it shows jonesy relieved that he just won the match and then the storm king appears on the map and jonesy gives a smirk and then he runs after the storm king in order to fight it and then the screen fades to white and splashes super smash bros times fortnite so guys what did you think of jonesy i know a lot of people are gonna come after me only because i did this but fortnite is a multi-billion dollar game and it has come a long way since chapter one season one and i thought since i already have a playlist of foes that i have talked about that are in fortnite as well with doom slayer being the most recent addition thanks to his inclusion in chapter 4 i thought if i have a playlist full of characters that are featured in fortnite why don't i talk about jonesy himself like i've talked about doom slayer i've i've done lara croft i've done kratos i've done a lot of characters that are featured in fortnite already i just hadn't done jonesy himself until now and i thought i would remind you guys that on my channel page that there is a playlist featuring the foes that are featured in fortnite as well so if you go to the new foes appeared part of the channel page you should see it and with jonesy being the most recent addition to it i thought I would tell you guys about the playlist so don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss another new foe has appeared like this one I've not played chapter 4 yet but I will go and play it after I've recorded this and just as a quick reminder before the video finishes there is only two new foe has appeared episodes left in 2022 
So, as you might go to my community posts, you might already have a brief guess on who they are. But, a new foe has appeared, will be wrapped up for 2022 in two more episodes. So, I will see you all in a future new foe has appeared episode. BB-8 out.